Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Game Dev Taku. So, I don't know, I'm gonna close my door so no one hears me outside. Okay, I don't know what the last 3D. That was the vampire game. Yes, okay, I remember making that. Um, right, so let's see, do we need to research anything? Or have I got some stuff? Last thing I done was vampire. Oh shit. Actually, I'm gonna do City Simulator because Sim City that was that's quite a successful game. I mean, it wasn't the most successful in the world, but the most successful City Simulator, I think. So if we can get that, everything's gonna go pretty good. I also want to train Sky to have staff management so we can start hiring staff. But we're not gonna start hiring staff straight away. We're gonna start in a little bit. Well, maybe after this game. Right. So once he's done that, we're gonna then create a new game. Hurry up, you need to try on. Well then, you successfully completed your management course and you're now, you're now able to hire your first, very first employee. To get started, close this message and then click the fill position button which is available near the biggest... I was trying to talk really fast there. Didn't really work. Um, so let's do a city simulator on the PC, everyone. It's gonna use the speed engine v1 and 2D graphics v2. I didn't name it, boom hole. I'll have to remember to name it a little bit further on. Right, so I, I don't know. Story and quests are not gonna be that big at all. Maybe like just completely now for story and quests. It's not really a storyline in a city simulator, is there? Right, it's going up pretty well. It's going up pretty well. Oh, AI good. Level design has to be pretty good for this le game. Uh, about that. Okay. Okay, seems pretty good. Seems pretty good so far. Right. Okay, well, design's a bad thing, so I'm going to keep that where it is. Even though I would have had that higher. Graphics, I'm going to keep that where it is. Uh, I'm going to keep everything where it is. It seems to be fine at the moment. Right. Skis. It's, this all, I don't think this will be a record. It might be, but I don't know. Uh, there we go. Okay. If it is a record, then I'm surprised because I didn't know about it. Oh my god, it is. Okay. So let's call this... Um, Sim. Or Kim. How do you want to pronounce it? Kim City. Sim City. It's not Sim City, it's Sim City. See what I've done there? <laughs> but um... Okay, no, I'm just no. Um, new research available: simple cutscenes and 3D graphics v1. Ooh, well, I should research that then. Let's get that. And let's also fill a position. Um, let's do complex algorithms. I'll do 250k. So I'm presume I think complex. I can't talk today. I really can't. It's every time I play this game. Complex algorithms, I guess, are for like programming. If I can remember correctly, they choose the people who have the best programming skills. I named it. What? The first we used for our newly released game, Game Ten, came in. Oh, so I didn't rename it. That's bumhole. Oh, I'm 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 not even bothered by the reviews now. I'm I'm quite upset. I was really excited as well. I thought Kim City was going to be amazing. Oh well. It seems that Momentum has recently moved into a new office in a well-known technological technology park and is now searching for employees. Yeah. The company, which is known for games such as Football Madness and The Younger Scrolls 1, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. One of the many fans of Football Madness commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now and that those games were created by only one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. Thank you, bruh. The search for... I can't talk, I'm going dizzy. The search for the open position is complete. You can now review your list of applicants and hire someone for this position. I've done it, I've done it. Don't forget you can always train your employees to improve their skills, okay. So I'm gonna want pretty good tech. 311, that's pretty good, I think. Yeah, he seems to be the best. Uh, salary 19k per month, 
Speed, he's got decent speed. Okay, we'll get this guy. And... It's usually a good idea to give your staff a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximise their efficiency, efficiency way faster than normally. To do this, close the menu and then click on the character bringing up the action menu. Oh, I can research medium games now. Uh, wrong thing, I want to train. Staff welcome. And you need to... Re we need a new game mode as well. Let's do dance. And we'll do a dance simulator. We'll be like... I am gonna go and take a giant freaking pool. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. <sighs> okay, so generate game report of game 10. See what we can get from that. Right. Uh, let's develop a new game now. It's gonna be a dance simulator. I'm gonna rename it this time to. Um, Prancy Dancy. Prancy Dancy. Prancy Dancy. There we go, that sounds weird. Uh, I could put on the game link. No, that's just weird if it's on the game link. I'll just stick to the PC for now, because it's a simulator, and I think simulators go really well on PC. Um, it's going to be for everyone. Speed Engine V1, of course, because that's the only one I have still. 2D Graphics V2. And then I might try and make a new game engine. A, a, little, a new game engine. Right, so story and quest. There might be a bit more quest. No, actually, there won't be quest. Gameplay. Uh, mm, I, I guess I'm gonna have to keep everything as the way it is. I'm gonna boost the engine up a bit because it's gonna have to be good to do dance simulations. Post release analysis of day, game 10. Uh, City and simulation is a great combination, obviously. Graphics seem to be very important. Platform genre match. Simulation PC is great, obviously. Um, topic audience match everyone in city is great. Okay, so this game done pretty well. Uh, I don't, already don't think we're doing as last as good as the last game. Options intelligence, level design up a bit, dialogues up. L Actually, no, it's mm, the singing count is dialogues. Nah, I don't think it does. I'm, I'm just gonna say it's not because they'll be singing in like the music that they're dancing like to like. It's a final countdown to the Oh, so we've got no, more stuff now. Graphics, sound down. So that's going to be much more efficient for this. Let's see how that goes. Game 10 is off the market. It's sold for before, okay. Um, Generating 312k. Okay, that's pretty good. We are going down in cash overall, but it should be fine. Right, we've got a new record in technology, which is good. Let's finish this now. Uh, Dancy Prancy, eight, yeah, 24, new record, new combo, um, new topic, new combo. So there we go, that's so good. What was that? Dialogues level up. Why did dialogues level up? That makes no sense. Release game. Right, better dialogues. I can get that now. Uh, I'm going to get this guy to do the game report. Okay, so it's a, it's a pretty average game. Which is good enough. Good enough. Should keep us about level. Alright, so this guy, I'm, he's going to generate the game report for this. He is going to research a new topic. Ooh. Ooh. Aliens. Aliens, definitely. And we're also going to make a new game engine. The Speed Engine V2. Because I think we've got enough now to upgrade it. And hopefully we'll get some new stuff in it. Dancy, Prancy Dancy is doing quite well. I post really thousand da, 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 da. dancing simulation is a great combination. World design seems to be not very important for this type of game. Okay. Um create custom engine. It's gonna be called the speed engine. Speed engine V2. That's not how you spell two. Uh it's gonna use 3D graphics. No need for 2D graphics anymore. Uh well, was that the only change I'm doing? Okay, there's no point making it yet then. Let's see if I can research anything else for it. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna train my stuff. Don't wanna train my stuff. Actually, actually, yes, I will train my stuff. I'll do. I'll do. I wanna speed him up. Um. Don't repeat yourself. 
I don't know. I'm presuming that'll do speed. I don't know why. But, I'm, yeah. And he will... I don't know. Let's... 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 Yeah, see what else we can research quickly for it. Um, medium games. And, yeah, that, that should do. We'll try and research other things after the next game we'll make, whatever that is. And then we'll make the engine. Speed Engine V2. Hi, Robert. I've followed the, the progress of momentum for a while, and it seems you... That you... That... Oh, my God. That with your recent expansion, you have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. The publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development in return... They keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more than usual, more, it is usually still worth it. Okay. I can put you in touch with some publishers so you can look at available contracts. Just let me know. Jasmine broke. Find publishing contract. Find publishing contract has been unlocked. It is accessible in the action menu. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? I think that'll do this episode. Uh, we'll continue with the next episode. We're trying to make a new engine. And maybe doing a couple contracts, new contracts and stuff. Um, publishing deals, that's it. But yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you want to see more. And like this video if you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, baby. Eat me. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, God. Oh, eat your babies. I'm going to eat your babies all day. Lassie. Okay. Okay, two boobs, four boobs, I mean.